the, life is a mystery. If you take away the mystery and everything was certain, you wouldn't need faith. Mm. I'm looking at him as a saint going to a party that ain't nothing but sin. Prepare yourself for a jaw dropping scandal that has rocked the worlds of hip hop and spirituality. Bishop T.D. Jakes, renowned pastor and former spiritual advisor to Seen Diddy Combs, has been arrested in a shocking twist linked to the mogul's recent criminal activities. Despite his attempts to distance himself from Diddy, Jakes was taken into custody immediately after delivering a sermon at his megachurch. As investigators dug deeper, they reportedly uncovered evidence suggesting Jakes was not only aware of Diddy's heinous actions, but might have been complicit in them. The drama began unfolding after the release of a disturbing video from 2016 showing Diddy brutally abusing his then-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. The horrifying footage unveiled by CNN left many in shock, including Jakes, who publicly denounced Diddy from his pulpit. Keep it moving. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I gotta do is repent sincerely from my heart. However, this condemnation came too late to save Jakes from the ensuing scandal. Authorities are now examining ties between the bishop and Diddy's criminal activities, raising questions about the extent of their relationship and Jakes' involvement. As this scandal continues to unravel, the implications for both Jakes and Diddy are staggering. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this explosive story that intertwines faith, fame, and betrayal. But before we dive into the details of Bishop T.D. Jake's arrest, it's crucial to explore his controversial personality and long-standing relationship with Diddy, which many believe has long blurred the lines between pastoral duties and high-profile celebrity mingling. Hey, Bishop Jakes, how What's are up, you? What's up, man? Ah, oh, man, it's so good to see you. It's, it's so better good. to see you. How you doing? Looks like you're out in the sun. Jakes, a prominent figure in both spiritual and social circles, has been criticized for years for his close association with Diddy, often seen at the mogul's infamous parties that rarely align with the moral high ground Jakes preaches from his pulpit. Jakes and Diddy have known each other for years, and their public appearances together have often raised eyebrows. Critics argue that Jake's presence at Diddy's events contradicts his spiritual messages, suggesting a double life that now seems more plausible given recent revelations. The partnership between Jake's and Diddy, particularly through projects like the Kingdom Culture with T.D. Jake's series on Revolt TV, exemplified their intertwined personal and professional lives. This collaboration has now come under intense scrutiny, especially with Diddy's escalating legal troubles. So now what he's doing is he's making, he, 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 man, he's making the Christians look real bad right about now. As the scandal deepened, disturbing details emerged about Jake's possible complicity in Diddy's crimes. Authorities are reportedly investigating allegations that Jake's attended and even participated in some of Diddy's notorious parties. Accusations include facilitating introductions and potentially turning a blind eye to illegal activities happening under his nose. It's... <laughs> I know what usually happens at the Diddy party or what we told this happened at the Diddy parties. Jakes has fervently denied these claims, but the evidence appears damning. The most shocking claims stem from multiple sources, including a young music producer, Rodney Lil Rod Jones, who has filed a federal lawsuit implicating both Diddy and Jakes in a trafficking ring. Jones's lawsuit paints a grim picture of the debauchery and exploitation at Diddy's parties, where Jakes allegedly played a role in maintaining a facade of respectability. According to the suit, Jakes was often seen at these gatherings, not as a silent observer, but as an active participant, allegedly exploiting his pastoral influence to manipulate and control vulnerable attendees. This has led many to question how deeply Jakes was entangled in Diddy's dark world and whether his spiritual guidance was merely a cover for more sinister activities. I think it's very inappropriate of a man of a cloth to be at a party like that and then dancing across the stage or dancing, you know, Further fueling the controversy, a series of leaked videos and social media posts have surfaced, claiming to show Jakes in compromising situations at Diddy's events. One particularly explosive TikTok video featured allegations from Cassie Ventura, Diddy's former girlfriend, who described Jakes' presence at these gatherings as more than just casual. So allegedly, Cassie has turned over evidence to the feds. Yes. To the Fed. Cassie's testimony has been a crucial piece in the puzzle, suggesting that Jakes was not only aware of, but actively engaged in the misconduct. The TD Jakes have slept with multiple men at Diddy's parties and abroad, and they refer to him as being a power bob. Adding another layer to this scandal are the salacious rumors about Jakes's romantic orientation and behavior, with some claiming he played a submissive role at these parties. 
This term, in homosexual parlance, refers to someone who takes on a dominant position during intimate encounters, and its use in this context has added a sensational dimension to the narrative. While these claims remain unverified, the sheer volume and consistency of the accusations have severely damaged Jake's reputation. Despite his vehement denials and attempts to distance himself from Diddy, the damage to Jake's public image has been profound. His sermon denouncing Diddy's actions delivered shortly before his arrest was seen by many as a desperate attempt to salvage his credibility. In the middle of chaos, because after a while, anytime you know too much, you stop living your best self. Mm. However, the authorities seem unconvinced by his proclamations of innocence. Investigators are now piecing together the extent of Jake's involvement, looking at financial records, communications, and testimonies from party attendees and insiders. The horror of what was allegedly happening behind the scenes is gradually coming to light, painting a picture of a man who may have used his position of trust and faith to facilitate and perhaps even participate and perhaps even participate in criminal activities. Jake's initial efforts to disassociate from Diddy have proven futile as more evidence surfaces, implicating him in ways that are hard to dismiss as mere coincidence or unfortunate association. Fresh details from insiders suggest that Jake's had long been a target of federal authorities. He had already been called in for questioning twice, but today marked a significant escalation when he was arrested immediately after leaving the church following his sermon. Eyewitnesses reported a dramatic scene with law enforcement swarming the church parking lot, leaving the congregation in stunned silence. It appears that the authorities have uncovered some concrete evidence, possibly including incriminating video footage that links Jake's directly to Diddy's criminal activities. Um, so, uh, it's just crazy. Just read, read. Adding fuel to the fire is a burgeoning theory that Diddy himself has started to rat out his associates to mitigate his own legal troubles. As things spiraled out of control following the release of the Cassie Ventura beating video, Diddy's desperation seemed to grow. Combs is seen shoving, kicking, and dragging his then girlfriend down the hallway. And now he's posted an apology on Instagram. The video which showed Diddy brutally assaulting Cassie left a permanent stain on his already tarnished reputation. His subsequent groveling apology was widely criticized, particularly by Cassie, who branded his attempts at contrition as pathetics. Cassie's reaction to Diddy's apology was as powerful as it was damning. In a statement, her lawyers lambasted the video, stating it was more about himself than any of his victims. Calm's most recent statement is more about himself than the many people he has hurt, attorney Meredith Firetalk said. That he was only compelled to apologize once his repeated denials were proven false shows, his pathetic desperation, and no one will be swayed by his disingenuous words. Indeed, Diddy's apology video was seen by many as an attempt to garner sympathy rather than a genuine expression of remorse. The musicians claim that he has been seeking therapy and asking God for mercy did little to sway public opinion. Cassie's husband, Alex Fine, also weighed in, condemning Diddy's actions and those who enabled them. His message was clear. Men who hit women aren't men. Men who enable it and protect those people aren't men. This sentiment was echoed by several celebrities, including 50 Cent and Emily Ratajkowski, who called Diddy a, a monster. I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. As the scandal deepens, Diddy's troubles seem to multiply. Recent reports have revealed the discovery of a network of secret underground tunnels beneath his luxurious mansions, which only adds to his mounting problems. These tunnels, connecting various parts of his sprawling estates, have fueled wild speculation and conspiracy theories about their purpose. Some believe they were used for clandestine meetings and possibly even for escaping law enforcement, as one social media user suggested. Did you all know they found a tunnel under Diddy's mansion? Another added, Diddy ran through his secret escape tunnel to his plane when the feds arrived. The discovery of these tunnels came to light during a raid by Homeland Security on Diddy's $40 million Los Angeles mansion. Federal agents, in collaboration with local law enforcement, combed through his properties in both Los Angeles and Miami, seizing numerous items of evidence. The mansion, located in the upscale neighborhood of Hamby Hills, boasts extravagant features like a lagoon-style swimming pool connected to a grotto by an underwater swimming tunnel. It was this very feature that sparked rumors of Diddy's elaborate escape plans. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. During the raids, agents were seen removing boxes and bags of evidence while Diddy was notably absent. This absence has led to widespread speculation about his whereabouts and the extent of his involvement in the alleged trafficking ring. His attorney, Aaron Dyer, criticized the raids as an excessive show of force, but maintained that Diddy has been cooperating with authorities. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. The intertwining fates of Jake's and Diddy now seem more inseparable than ever. As investigators continue to uncover the depths of their alleged criminal activities, the public is left to wonder just how far the corruption and complicity extend.
The once respected pastor and the influential music mogul are now central figures in a scandal that shows no signs of abating. With each new revelation, the line between their public personas and their private lives grows increasingly blurred, leaving their legacies hanging in the balance. Public opinion on the scandal has been sharply divided. Some fans express profound disappointment, feeling betrayed by figures they once admired. One fan commented, maybe that's why Jake's always preached about haters, so that he can call all his accusers hatters. Others reflect on changes they observed in Jake's over the years. Another fan noted, I noticed a major change in TD Jake's years ago when his daughter got involved in promoting his church. He lost my respect at that time. This perspective underscores a growing disillusionment that predates the current scandal, hinting at a perceived shift in Jake's priorities from spiritual guidance to personal and familial aggrandizement. As we contemplate the shocking revelations surrounding Bishop T.D. Jakes and Scene Diddy Combs, we urge you, our valued audience, to share your thoughts and opinions on this unfolding scandal. Do you believe there is truth to the claims and allegations? How do you think this scandal will impact the worlds of hip-hop and spirituality? Leave a comment below and let your voice be heard. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and until next time, farewell.